like that much. The difference between good and great is like that much, but that gap that you have to jump <coughs> seems enormous, okay? You talk about the best high school guys going into college, and then they're just normal. Everybody in college is good, all right? And I kind of equate it to this. Again, I like using a lot of analogies with my guys. I'm a real visual person, all right? But it kind of equates to this. And there's, a, there's this reverend called Les Brown. He puts a ton of amazing stuff out. And man, if you guys aren't consuming motivational content, you're, you're missing out, okay? You guys are living in an age right now where you can get anything you want like that. You can go get more motivation than this thing right here in five minutes. Man, you had to go searching for it back when I was in high school. You had to find books and magazines. VHS and the, tapes. The internet wasn't there. I had two VHS what? tapes. I had Kindle Cross, Can't Fake the Funk, and I had an Iowa Public Television VHS of like two duels. And I watched them until they both just kind of fell apart. But man, you can get on your phone, you can get on your, the internet, you can get on the internet through your Xbox and just watch motivational videos and get you fired up, man. It's tough to try to want to be elite every day and to chase greatness every day, but you got to pour motivating content into your life every single day, okay? And Les Brown talks, uh, talks about it like this. There's this Asian bamboo plant, okay? And you plant it in the ground, and you feed and water it for five years. You see zero growth for five years. Feed and water it every day. If you don't feed and water it every day, within five years, it dies. But at that five year mark, in five weeks, it grows 90 feet, 80 to 90 feet. That's crazy, right? Five years worth of work. Right? And then you see the growth in five weeks. But that equates so much to your wrestling careers, guys. And it'll equate even more to your lives past wrestling. That you pour so much of your heart and soul into this thing. And you constantly have people being like, man, dude, you sacrificed so much. You didn't even want to stay tight. Raise your hand if you want to stay tight last year. Stay champs in here. Raise your hand. All right. I know for a fact this guy works his butt off. This guy follows me around the doggone country with his crazy dad. Right? He tries to get everywhere he can. I talked about Jalen the other day. Just being a student of the game. Five years. Right? Sometimes it might be ten years. But when that five weeks of growth hits, man, that five years seems like nothing. When that five weeks of growth hits, and I'll tell you right now, it won't happen when you want it to. It's not going to happen during your wrestling career sometimes. It didn't happen for me during my wrestling career. I felt like I did everything right. It just didn't happen. You know when that five weeks hit? When I started learning how to coach. When I wanted to do this for a living. All that work that I dumped into it just started popping off. That five weeks hit. Man, and I saw immediate returns. I saw tons of returns on a lot of stuff that I was questioning. Man, is this really worth doing? Is all this stuff really worth doing? And everybody asks themselves that question. Anybody that's tried to chase any type of greatness in their life or an elite level has experienced that. This ain't worth it. Mom, Dad, this ain't worth it. Brother. Best friend, this ain't worth it. I'm putting way too much and I'm not seeing immediate returns. I'm telling you guys, stay the course. If you're pouring your, again, if we're pouring this and this into something and it feels good, keep doing it. Keep doing it. That five weeks will hit and it'll be when you need a job promotion and you need it bad. And you get that job promotion, you can buy a house, you can buy a car, your car's about to blow up, right? And something just good happens in your life. Right? All those things are those five weeks that are going to hit. So all those people that are telling you, hey, stop, wa stop watering the plant. Hey, stop feeding the dream. Hey, come with me. Right? This is way easier than what you're trying to do. What you're trying to do is super tough. Because everybody's got the friends that want to wrestle. But you don't ever see them come out. Because they want the guarantee. Coach, if I do everything right, if I come to practice, if I lift, if I'm at preseason, you guarantee me I'm going to be a state placer this year. That man's going to look you square in the eyes and say, nope. Because this sport demands all of that and returns competitively about that much. But you know what? Like I said yesterday, the human beings that you are growing into and the people you're surrounding yourself with along the way, that's what's really going to pay this tons back. Tons back. The gold medals won't pay the mortgage. There will be some good stories. But I'm telling you right now, at any point along the way you feel like watering that plant, is not worth it, it's worth it. It's a thousand percent worth it. And you don't ever walk into 
a wrestling room or uh, some type of sport event and you hear guys that wished they wouldn't have worked so hard, right? What do you always hear? I wish I would have worked harder. I wish I would have had one more year. I wish I would have had one more practice. You don't run to any, anybody and say, dude, all that work I did in high school trying to be a starting quarterback, all that work I did trying to be a state champ, wasted time. You don't hear that. Everybody wants to go back and make up time. Everybody wants to go back and have another year to water the dream. One more year to chase greatness, to make a bunch of different decisions that they made. That time's gone. But what you can do, and the beautiful part of it is, you guys are grains of sand right now relative to the span of where you're going to be in your life. And if you can master that now, and if you can wake up and water the dream every day, fertilize that dream every day, help other people fertilize and water their dream every day, man, that's the most beautiful thing that you'll ever see in your life. That's why this guy's dragging people down from Nebraska, and he's driving all over the country with people, okay? Because once you feel, once you feel right here what it, what it means to help somebody else chase a dream or to, or to turn into something along the way to chasing your dream, man, it's addictive. It's addictive. And that's why you have guys like this that just pour so much time and effort and their own money and time away from their family to help you guys dream chase. Don't ever take it for granted. Water the dream every day. Be relentless in your pursuit. And hey, things will just happen the way they happen. And I promise you, it's going to turn out all right. It's going to turn out all right. You guys absolutely destroyed it today. All right? We got two more days worth of work. There's levels to everything. So tomorrow, we reach another level. More level, more focus, more feel, more emotion. All right? And we're back at it tomorrow. And we're back at it the next day. And then when I'm gone and you're out of this room and you're back where you're at, nothing changes. Nothing changes. The way you've acted the last couple days is the way you act moving forward. You don't act this way for four days and then change, right? That's tough to do. I get it. It's tough to do for me. Some days I don't even want to get up out of the hotel bed and come to camp. I got the coolest job in the planet. It's tough getting up and staying motivated, being on point every day, all right? But when you just, let's go, right? You just, you just get up and get going. Then once you get going, it's easy, right? Once we got going today, it was easy, right? Once you create a habit of living that way and thinking that way, it's easy. It's easy. Then you're looking around wondering why everybody's lazy. Why I wonder everybody wants a handout. Why everybody wants an opportunity to in their life. Right? Right? Absolutely killed it today. And I'm extremely proud of every single one of you guys. Again, tomorrow, new day, new level. That's it. Tomorrow's a new day, new level.